Man, oh man, Demon Slayer Season 3 has finally arrived. And you know once Demon Slayer drops, it's always gonna be some fire. I finally get to see Akaza, who is my favorite demon, back in action. The last time we seen him, that boy was fresh off catching a body. But then the Jakes was high on his tail, so he had to get up out of there with maximum speed and efficiency. And then fast forward to the first episode of Season 3, and he's the first person they show? Oh yeah, the writers was in they bag for show. Like, just look at him. This nigga think that he's Sora. Uh, but alas, my excitement went from 100 to 0 because this man Akaza got pressed by a nigga that has some of the worst drip I have ever seen. And the number one ranked demon in the upper moon who is one shot of blood away from looking like a tarantula. But before we get to that, we gotta talk about how we got here. So as we all know, Tangen, Tanjiro, and the crew just finished packing up Gyatro and Daki. New packing the, edits, guess what? the fight was so crazy it made Tangen retire and put Tanjiro's ass in a coma. But Gyatro and Daki's defeat left Muzan enraged. So Bro called for the Avengers to assemble back to the Infinity Castle so they could figure out their next play like they were down 3-1 in the playoffs. But I gotta give it up to Muzan. This man might be the greatest role player in anime history. Because not only does he look like Michael Jackson, this man copied his whole entire house. Like you can fit in an entire state in this man's crib bruh but anyways this is when we meet all the upper moons for the first time and you know i'm excited because they were hyping up these upper moons for two seasons now and then we come to find out that these demons is some goddamn clowns bruh and in case you guys didn't know this man muzan is like an ancient being this man has as much miles on his legs as lebron james in year 20 bro had 113 years to assemble a squad and this is the best you could come up with like you give me that long to assemble a team i'm pulling up with ben 10 Madara, King Vaughn, and hell, I'm gonna even have Azula in the back pocket in case shit gets sticky. But anyways, Akasa goes to meet up with the rest of the team, and the upper five demon talking about it's been 90 years since I last seen you. Like, bro, don't nobody want to see your genie looking ass. And then we got Upper Moon 4, and I don't know who's more scared, him or me, because this is something that you'd find right under your bed or something, bro. Like, once Akaza pulled up and put Rengoku on a shirt, I thought when we finally met the Upper Moon demons, they were all gonna be a bunch of hymns just like him but it turns out Akaz is not even him because the dripless upper moon 2 demon pulls up behind him talking about i heard you almost became a pack couldn't be me but Akaz did hit that man with the denzel though man Ch said get your hands off of me but bro didn't even feel that he went right back to roasting him and it's crazy because he was talking that talk to rengoku but when it comes to somebody that's on your level you don't want no smoke you a bitch you know why you a bitch because i said so you just a bitchy bitch. You a bitch with McBitcherson. You a bitch McBitch. You, I go to McDonald's and get a McBitch because you a bitch. Bitch. And while Akas is over there getting pressed, Muzan is in a cut somewhere getting teed up because his squad that he picked is trash. And mind you, this is the same person that picked and killed all the lower ranking demons because they were also trash. Muzan was basically one of those people who was him as a player, but terrible as an executive or GM. Mans can build a roster if it was right in front of him. And if you watch this anime without any context, you can tell who is him and who is not him. Cause Kokushibo was damn near calling this man a bum. But when Upper 5 got something to say, Mans didn't even let him finish his damn sentence, bro. But the worst part of this episode was when Akaza got 2v1 by Upper Moon 1 and 2. They was basically belittling my favorite demon just because he's a little bit weaker than they are. They trying to turn Akaza into a school shooter, bro.